What's going on everyone and welcome to this 2023 in-depth full demo and tutorial for Sellerboard. My name's Hayden, last month I did over 80,000 in sales across my UK and USA store combined. That's dollars and pounds, uh, you know, a bit of both from either. Um, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I use Sellerboard to track the profits of both of their marketplaces that I use. I only use Sellerboard to track this and how I actually use it also to get reimbursements back hundreds of pounds, thousands of pounds in some cases per month back from Amazon that they owe me just using this sellable tool here which is by the way a really really cheap tool I think on a monthly basis if you're not paying annually it's about $19 and then $15 if you pay the year up front so it's a really cheap tool um, but that doesn't mean that it's not good it's a very very fantastic tool that pays for itself so if you want to check out the free trial of this get the two month free trial don't get it without that obviously because that'd be silly if you want to use it make sure you get the two month free trial below other than that let's dive into the video so let's put my face uh, a little bit smaller over there uh, let's put it here and let's dive in so the first thing you'll notice on the top left guys is the tiles here so this gives you your total turnover and profit um, estimations for yesterday today month to date this month last month uh, not only that, it gives you the gross profit, the net profit, and if you click on more and all of these things, it will actually break it all down individually. So you've got the advertising cost there, which most of you would just have a sponsored products, uh, the PPC from Amazon. Most people won't be using this to promote on different marketplaces, but you can do. And we go into that later in the demo. Um, so let's say, for example, you click on this and you see that your net profit is lower or higher than you thought it was. What we can do is click on here. And what's brilliant about Sellerboard is that you can click on the Amazon fees, for example, check, oh, we've got disposal fee there. Could be higher, could be less, um, could be the uh, warehouse costs for example the storage these um, you can look at your shipping cost oh we spent lots on shipping yesterday so it gives you a really good overview you know look at the expenses there oh the rent came out yesterday otherwise that would be 150 more net profit in the business that's why it's low um, and obviously you can do this on a monthly basis too with a good breakdown there breaks down the inbound transportation the storage fees etc that i've just spoken about disposal fees um, and things like that it also gives you a, a, a this month forecast, guys, which is interesting, and also last month. You can always compare it to last month. It says, look, this month we're on a 25% up from last month, as you can see, 0.2% there. Uh, and then this month forecast is plus 7.1% up. So it's cool. You know, it gives you these good uh, just overview estimations, guys. And you can also go up here and do custom ranges, or you can do today, yesterday, this month, uh, and do whatever sort of filters that you want, guys. You can also use this top bar here to search by SKU or ASIN just to see how much profit you've done. So let's take this one, for example. Let's copy that ASIN. Uh, let's shut that in there. As you can see, it comes up with both of these. And then you can do that, and then it will give you the exact uh, sales that you've done for today, yesterday, the month today, just on any particular product. Um, if you want to, you know, understand, say, do we want to restock this item? Okay, let's shut that in there. See if it's worth restocking or not. You know, see how much profit we're actually making after all fees. Because, like, you know, there could be loads of refunds that come up. As you can see, month to date, we've had four refunds on this product already. So you'd have to consider, is it worth restocking? Because we get loads of refunds. Um, so, yeah. It's a cool product, you know, and then we go off that click filter again, brings us back to where we are. So, guys, not only can you do that on the tiles as an overview of the whole business, but you can also do that down here. If we click on each individual product, so you can see the units sold there, the refunds, and we can actually filter this by up or down. So the least sold or the most sold. You get a good breakdown of the, all the sales, the total net profit, the total margin, and then you can actually click on more here. And this is my most favorite part of our seller board. You click on the more and it gives you the exact advertising costs, the Amazon fees, uh, refund costs, cost of goods, uh, gross profit, net profit margin for that individual product that has sold for the, for the last month, this month. And as I say, if you want to take the ASIN, put it up there of all time. You could do it of all time in the filters just to get a really good overview of how profitable uh, that is just to make sure you're running a profitable enterprise in, entirely guys and then also you can do it for all products guys and all products that you've sold in a day are going to come here so if i want to see it you know i've launched new products are they going to sell rather than logging into my seller central and clicking on manage orders typing in the ace in there i can just have a quick overview on uh, seller board just check down everything that's sold in that day and how many units i've sold in that day how many refunds i've got in that day uh, and then also once again if you need more info you can click on the more just to see what's going on here 
It's a really cool thing, guys. So moving on, moving on, you can do the PPC here as well. So I don't go into detail on this because I run most of my PPC, to be honest, from the Amazon PPC dashboard. But this does also give you a really good, uh, you can connect this to your Amazon. It will connect, you know, all your configurations once you connect this to your account and it will import all of that data. You can see all of your campaigns. You can see the ACOS, the PPC sales. So basically, you don't need to log in to the Amazon account, really. You can look at the overviews from here before you're actually doing uh, changes so it's got the ppc section there let's look at the profits let's look at the profits here guys the products page sorry on the products page here so what you can do is once again copy something put that in there and then you can look at the cost of goods for that item and then you can look at the profit for that individual item OK, you can also just scroll down here, look at all the products that you've got. Just check, check the cost of goods for these products. So what you can do is go over here and then what you can do is edit the cost of goods if you want by clicking that. And you can actually edit by batch, guys. Look, so you can do it by batch. So when you're when you're when you're adding a product, you might want to edit it, edit it by batch rather than just in total. So let's say, for example, you've got a product, but your wholesaler has recently changed the price of that product, or you're importing it from China, for example, it's your own branded stuff, and it's now going to cost you fifty p more. But you don't want to just change the cost of good in total, because if you change the cost of good in total, then it will change it for the whole duration of the profit that you've made from seller board, which will be inaccurate because you've actually been making more. So what you want to do, you can actually change the cost of good by batch by clicking on here. You change it by batch and then it will just change it from today moving forward rather than changing the whole entire thing, which will affect your profit, your, your, your dashboard for that product. And it could be inaccurate. So yeah, it's cool. And then even if there's just, let's say there's a, a sale just for a certain amount of products you can do it by batch say let's for example there's a hundred products let's say there's a hundred products and they're on sale just for a hundred products so you've got that for half price which means your cost of good is different you can change it by batch or by period so once they sell out the, the the price will go back to what it is so you get an accurate profit analysis it's pretty cool so i have my my admin va one of my admin vas working on this just to make sure that they're all updated Next page, guys, you look at expenses. Now, there's a lot more that goes into this syllable, by the way, but I'm just giving you a really brief overview and demo because, you know, we could be sitting on here for hours, guys. This is the page, pretty self-explanatory. All of your uh, expenses, you can type in here. Tax consultant, subscription, etc., etc. Subscriptions, uh, and then you can pick the date that they go off. And that will subtract from your main dashboard. It will subtract from your dashboard. So, you know, when I said if one day you're making less profit than what you thought you want to click into more it will come up here and it will and you'll be able to see that oh the warehouse rent came out for example yesterday that's why we've made 90 less profit than we should have nothing to worry about it's nothing wrong with our pricing on our products or anything like that Cool. Uh, we've got cash flow over here, guys. Now, I'm not going to lie, I don't use this stuff generally, but you can use this to track your cash flow, which is pretty cool. It's not a, it's not something that I've used, as I say, in detail, but it gives you a good idea of the payouts that you're getting. As you can see, cash in hand, difference, and it's got investments, payout, etc., etc. So, you know, subscription, expenses, and stuff like that. It just gives you a good projection there, as I say, of the payout that you're getting, vis the uh, expenses that you've got. So you can start projecting your products. You can also get all of this information, dashboard by products, dashboard by day, sales by product. If you're more of an analytical type, especially with the advertising performance reports like the ACOS, you've got all your reports you can download here. Once again, I prefer sort of a visual software uh, looking sort of data for me. But if you're the sort of type of person that wants to export stuff on the S S S S SFV and stuff like the CSV files uh, and Excel, then you can use this. Guys, hang around because soon I'm going to show you how to get all your money back from reimbursement. So this pool, this tool more than pays for itself more, gets you loads more money back. We're going to go through that soon. Guys, we've got the inventory plan here as well. Once again, I don't, you know, this, this, this thing's really cool to track stuff on, but I don't look at it as much as I should. One of my favorite things with Sellerboard is the cost of goods. The cost of goods up here, it gives you the cost of goods that you've done, that you've purchased for your products, the potential sales and the profit. And then the potential profit, which is really, really cool. So let's go into this. So the cost of goods in total, total, we've got 98,000. The potential sales is 443,000. The potential profit is 181,000. So that's really cool, guys. Really cool. It gives you a really good idea 
of what we what stock you've actually got in your fulfillment centers or on the way to the fulfillment centers or in the prep center which you'll have to input in here to track it all but to be honest guys with me we don't bother updating this but what it is really good for is tracking all the the the, the worth the product worth the potential sales that we've got from our stock that's currently getting sent to amazon or is already in the fulfillment centers so you don't have to mess around with this but if you want to get more analytical then you can type in the exact stock that is in your prep centers etc etc when you order them by doing the purchase orders there and then you can also track the exact profits the exact stock value that you've got all the time as i say if that's too much work for you then do what i do and just always track the fba fba stock sent to fba etc which is more than enough for me to do another thing down here we've got the fba shipments guys and this is a cool thing so rather than once again looking around amazon seeing what the issues are it all comes up here the shipment ids we've got the units reserved received and it tells you if there's issues you can put comments on here and then you can go in there, figure out what the issue is here, click into the shipment, then it will connect you to your seller central, which you can then go and make cases for. So it gives you a really good overview to use this rather than scrolling down Amazon and clicking into each individual shipment to figure out if there's an issue. So if there's 82, so if there's a massive issue clearly on this shipment, for example, see what's going on there, quantity of deviation. So we're going to have to go ahead and click on that, look into it, and then maybe make cases of Amazon to claim that stuff back. Or, or, or Leonese of our prep center to see what's going on. So it's a really good idea. Supplies down there, I'm not gonna go into, but you can keep a list of your supplies and everything on there as well. And now this is the juicy stuff, guys. So not only can you integrate it with eBay and everything like that, you can integrate it with eBay and all that sort of good stuff. The main thing I love is the money back section. Let's click on this, so lost and damaged. It gives you an estimate reimbursement amount of how much Amazon actually owe you or should owe you, pretty much 90, 95% accurate most of the time, that they re that the reimbursements owe you. So how does it work? Your inventory might be lost or damaged from the employees from the warehouse. Normally, Amazon should either find the inventory and reimburse you. However, sometimes this doesn't happen. This report helps you find cases where products are lost and neither found nor reimbursed. And you use the report down here. You download this into an Excel or CSV. Use it to contact seller support, show the template, copy the template, just like that. I've got a process for this. My admin VA does this every single week for my UK and USA store. And we get hundreds of thousands, uh, hundreds of pounds back most, most, most weeks, most weeks, thousands a month in most cases. So it's, it's this more than pays for the tool. Like you need to go and get the free trial and just it's two month free trial even if you're not going to carry on after that go get the free trial <laughs> go get reimbursements and you'll see how this is going to pay for itself and you actually need this to make sure you're getting the reimbursements owed to you from seller board and then if not then you you can go in there check the reimbursements claim them and then you don't have to carry on and pay for anything because there's no credit card required from seller board um so you got the money back there uh, also for returns also fba fee changes and stuff like that how does this work same sort of thing a lot of times amazon uh, are charging you the wrong fees so you you can get remeasured and any fee changes for measurements you can claim back as well guys so i've used things like jativa and stuff like that the reimbursement tool this gets 95 percent of the stuff that gets and this doesn't charge you this is just this is this is the cost of the uh software but they charge you like 25 percent. this does it you know for free essentially if you pay for the software guys i hope you enjoyed that let me know if you've got any questions below um uh, put unicorn amazon seller if you've watched the end of this and let me know if you grab the free trial and i'll see you in the next video let me know if there's other videos you want me to do as well guys see you soon